Welcome back to Jesse Lou Comics. This is Lou. I'm here with another haul. I got some Funko Pops, some comics to show, and a DVD. Um, bit of a busy week. Not too busy, but uh, early in the week we went to Barnes and Noble. So we got some Funko Pops, and we got my wife found herself Spyro the Dragon. And with Sparks, she enjoyed that game. She picked it up. Put that aside. I found New Comic Con exclusive, shared exclusive. I found Hermione, Hermione Granger in a the sorting hat. So it was cool. Picked that up. And I found the Supergirl. Shared exclusive. And that was Barnes and Nobles early in the week. Um, got some stuff in the mail. I finally got my hands on a toxin. A Walgreens exclusive. Along with that came, I got this together with the lizard. Very cool. Been looking for both of them for a while. Well, it's very hard in my area to find anything. Um, also, in the mail came Wesley. Uh, this is the Chase Wesley. I have Indigo and uh, regular Wesley. All I need is Prince's Buttercup or just Buttercup. In GameStop, I want to see if they had uh, any other uh, Into the Spider Verse pops. So I got uh, found my Miles Morales with Kate, Mr. Spider-Man Noir, the Prowler, Spider Gwen. I'll find those as soon as they come out. Also got this new hat in GameStop. Cool, very cool. I like it. Uh, later on in the week, I went to Walmart to find their. Uh... Later on in the week, I went to Walmart to uh, check out the new display. Of pops, and I picked up a chupacabra. So it was cool. Uh, Fantastic Beast, Crimes of Grindelwald. I don't think I get anything else on the display, but I thought that was cool. Chupacabra. Entertainment Earth finally sent me a package. I brought this the Friday New York Comic Con, which was the fifth online. As I was waiting online to get into the con, uh, it just came this yesterday. And I finally have it. Spider Woman. I'm very happy to have it. This is one of the uh, ones I really wanted from the con. I was able to get to win the lottery to, you, to buy the Funko at the con. But next best thing. Met a last flea market yesterday. I went and brought uh, a couple pops. I went to the flea market last week. I showed the video. I think it's JC's Traveling Flea Market. And the gentleman I saw. Got me the spider buggy. He held it for me till I got there, and uh, he told me he had just sold the spider ham. He'll have it next week at the Metal Lines Fair. So I made sure I went yesterday. And I picked it up. Uh, S. Merritt, A.K.A. Panther. He has a eBay store. Awesome guy. Helped me a lot. He hunts. We hunt and find. We deliver. Uh, he also has an eBay store. I'll put that in the description below. It is Moni Mare. Very cool. Very cool video games. He is New Jersey's largest Black Panther collector. Told me to say that, and he has a lot of Black Panther stuff. He does. Great guy. Check him out. I'll put all the stuff in the description. His email see how this phone number if you need it you'll find it for you check them out oh, this way i got from this he got uh the box was a little jacked up but he gave me a great deal on this swamp thing thought it was awesome look cool uh he said he has the flock one and i think i want it i'm gonna get that too the flock swamp thing and of course what i went there for spider ham very cool. 
one just so it's looking everywhere. Last week I also brought, this was last week during my last haul, I forgot to mention, I found a copy of Constantine City of Demons, the movie. Great movie. I brought the uh, Blu-ray DVD digital. I bet I have a digital. Good movie. I saw it. I enjoyed it. It has uh, a lot to do with his uh, origin. It ties into his origin. Not a lot to do with it, but it was very good. I recommend it. Halcyon City of Demons. Pretty cool. Now to the comics, comics, comics. Something fell. Now to the comics. I got a nice bunch of books from Ben. Uh, he's my friend at work. Also, collectors from the hood. Check out his Instagram. He got a lot of cool pics. He collects comics, toys, album covers. His Instagram is awesome. Uh, he does dioramas of figures too that I believe they're for sale pretty sure uh, but yeah he got a talent for those dioramas too pretty cool um, this is up what he got me first up is Amazing Spider-Man 553 2006 uh, my, uh, J. Michael Straczynski Ron Garney is where uh, Peter Parker uh, reveals his identity to the world to the rest of the Marvel Universe. It's made by Spider-Man 534. Shows us and Garney. Nothing to too much of a note. It's all Civil War tie-ins. Made Spider-Man 536. Shrizinski and Garney. Uh, first appearance of Ted Richards. Uh, Reed's uncle. Is Amazing Spider-Man 536. Also, Strzinski and Garney. I think this whole ASM set is Strzinski and Garney. 537. Very nice. These are all great looking covers. It's 538. Uh, 07. Strzinski and Garney. This issue, uh, I'll make it shot by a sniper. Amazing Spider-Man 539. Uh, Straczynski and Garney. First appearance of Jake Maritino, who was the sniper, we find. Um, also covered by Ron Garney. This is one of my favorites. Beautiful looking cover. Amazing Spider-Man 540. Straczynski and Garney is the death of Jake Martino. It doesn't last too long. Made the Spider-Man 541. Trzeski and Garney, of course. And 542. Trzeski and Garney. Yes, yes. It's a great color. It's here too. Made the Spider-Man 543. Trzeski and Garney. Last of the Amazons. I just got a copy of Mythos number one. This is Mythos number four. Maybe Spider Man number one. I don't know the wording, uh, the numbering. Um, um, CLZ has this as number one. I see some others have it as number four. Now, I, don't I didn't collect uh, Ultimate Spider Man from the beginning. I missed out. But my man Ben hooked me up. And all these comics we gave me a great price. This is Ultra Spider-Man number one. First printing, Brian Michael Bendis, Mark Bagley, covered by Joe Quesada and Transparency Digital. First appearance of Earth 1610 and all the characters in it. First Peter Parker, Spider-Man, so forth. Ultra Spider-Man number two. Bendis and Bagley, Otto Octavius first appearance. Ultimate Spider-Man 
that's Spider-Man number three. These are from 2001, by the way. Uh, Bendis and Bagley. First Crusher Hogan. Ultimate Spider number four. This is first uh, Liz Adlin and the Burglar. Ultimate Spider Man number five. Bendis, uh, Bill Jameis. Jameis, Jameis. Bill Jameis uh, comes on to, to help with the writing. Uh, Death of Uncle Ben, first John Stacy, and Mary Watson, the aunt. Number six, Bendis, G. Miss Bagley, First Lady Bugle, J. Jonah Jameson, uh, Robbie Robertson, Ben Ulrich, Betty Bryant. This is we covered here too. Amazing. Oh, Ultimate Spider Man number seven. Sorry, I was saying uh, amazing before. Um, Bendis, G. Miss, and Bagley. This is uh, the parent death of Green Goblin. Of course, we know he's coming back. This is Ultimate number eight. Bendis Bagley, the first shocker. Uh, the forces make an appearance on the TV screen in this issue, but I don't consider that the first. The first would be in number nine. Uh, Bendis Bagley, uh, first kingpin, and their forces. Mr. Big, Ox, Fancy Dan, and Montana. Spider-Man number 10, Bagless Bendis, Bagless, Ultimate Spider-Man number 10, Bendis and Bagley, first Electro, Ultimate Spider-Man number 11, Bendis Bagley, um, also Art Dibert, uh cover and ink, uh, first Patsy Walker, aka Hellcat. Ultimate Spider-Man number 12. Bendis Bagley and Thybert. And finally number 13. This is uh, Bendis Bagley. In this issue, um, Peter reveals his identity. Tells Mary Jane that he's Spider-Man. That's my haul for this week, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe. Um, see you next time. We'll be out. Peace.